Welcome to ChiefExperts.com. Dan Bauman here. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about some of the mistakes that people tend to make with Chief Architect. And they're not necessarily mistakes that people are making. Sometimes they're just oversights, uh, things that haven't been looked into. So one of the things that tends to get overlooked in, in my many years of teaching people Chief Architect is the settings and preferences. The preferences are what makes the program function. It, it affects how the program functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into preferences. We're going to click on that little P right there. and that will open up the preference settings. And once we're in here, we'll take a look at a few of the things that you might want to consider changing. One of the first things that I always look at and change whenever I get a new copy of Chief Architect is the contextual menus. Now, contextual menus are these menus that pop down whenever you right click on something. Okay, So it takes a little bit of getting used to the right click with your mouse button to to, to select things, but that's the pick button in Chief Architect. It's used to select anything in the plan without having to go up and select any of the icons up here. So what I like to do in preferences is I like to click this thing right here called click twice to display. What that means is that the first time I select something, I can click on things and it will not give me that contextual menu. But if I want that menu, and I do sometimes, is I will click twice with my right mouse button on that item, and the menu will pop down. So that the menu sometimes gets in the way when I'm trying to work on things and dimension things, and it's a bit of a pain. So I like to have it so I can control when I get to see it instead of having it come pop down every time. The next thing that you might want to take a look at would be the toolbar settings. Now if you're, you know, if you've come from older versions of Chief Architect, you might be used to the icons that when you click on like the wall icon, then you would get a bunch of child icons over here with the different things that you could do for the wall or the windows or any of the other different things in, in the program. This setting here will change it back to the way it used to be if you like that format. Uh, generally, I like the new format where the items drop down from the icon. just makes it a little easier to find the things that we're working on. All right, another thing that I like to set would be the colors. All right, the first two things that I will always change, I'll always change these is the handle fill color and the selection fill color. Uh, I just don't like the light, the light gray. It's kind of hard to see. So what I will do is I'll, I'll click on the handle fill button, and I like to select red, and then I'll click on the selection fill color, and I like to select pink and make it a little bit lighter. I don't like it really dark, but pink is really easy to see on a white background. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll also hit use that fill in the render views when I'm overviewing render views. And if we take a look at that now, again, when I right click on something, I don't get the menu. And you'll see now that we're getting red handles on things. It's just a little easier to see and pick up. The other thing, when you click on rooms, see how you get the fill color it's very easy to see and distinguish exactly what it is that you're clicking on so you can play with the different colors to see what you like but it just visually makes it a little easier to get to the things on your screen that you want to uh, another item that I like to change is the library browser the program comes set up by default with the library browser here on the side of the screen and that's fine if that works for you leave it the way it is but what I like to do is make it big on my screen so that I can see things easier and sometimes I'll even put the library browser off the screen onto a second monitor that I have so what I will do is I will click on this button right here called stacked and I will also click on disable docking I'll click on those two buttons and I'll click OK and then I will go over here and I will grab you notice I grab that at the very top of the item. There's two lines, and I, I just grab those two lines, and then I pull it over onto the screen. Once I have it on the screen, I'm going to take it, pull the corners, and make it bigger on the screen, and then I'll adjust the different viewports right here. And then every time you click on something now, you're going to get a bigger view of it. Plus, I could grab this and pull it off on a different screen and keep it open all the time while I'm working on my plan. So it just makes it really easy to find the different items in the library that way. Okay, another preference setting that I like to work with, and there's just a few that you want to be aware of. So you don't have to make changes to all of these things. All right, so one of the things that you want to go to is architectural. All right, there's some different things here, but architectural has a, a setting right here. These first two settings I like to change. I will hit show same wall type, I will turn on, and I will turn off the select room before the wall in 3D. Let me show you what happens here. So when I turn those on, 
When I click on a wall now, you'll notice that I get a little diamond at the end of the wall. Okay, what that is is a handle that I can use to pull the end of the wall and make a copy of it. Okay, so I could take that, I could grab that diamond, make a copy of it. Okay, so you don't have to go back into the wall mode all the time to get the end of the handle, to get the end of the wall. You can still use the one on the end of the wall to rotate the wall. So that's what that setting does. It, it allows you to make copies of the end of the wall. Now if we go into a 3D view, Chief is great because you can now grab the views and you can you know, pull rooms up and down. But the way the program comes set up, it's, it's, you got to be careful with it because if you're pulling these rooms up and down, you're going to mess up your whole 3D model. So all you, you know, if you bring it up a 3D view and you click on it and you accidentally click on one of these buttons, you might be changing your floor and ceiling height. So by turning that one button off under architectural, all it does is it selects the, the, the wall now instead of the room which is a little safer. Again, you don't want to be pulling the tops and bottoms of walls up any more than you have to. It's just not something that you re I recommend that should be a last resort if you're having trouble with walls going in your plan. So you don't want to be doing that. Let's take a look at one other thing under preferences. And if we go to the edit area, remember we changed our handles to the color red? Well, under edit, there's a thing called edit handle size. And what I will do is bump that up to 6. And when we take a look at it now, when I click on these handles, you'll see that the little squares and triangles are a little bit bigger. They're easier to see. It's just easier to snap things to different items. So that's just a few of the things that you can change in the preference settings of Chief Architect. Come and join us at ChiefExperts.com. More tips like this that you can use. We have complete training series, everything that you need to learn how to get Chief to work exactly the way you want to. This is Dan Bauman with ChiefExperts.com signing off.